All right, guys, so we're back and we're headed on down to the shop. You guys know we were hit by Hurricane Milton and I appreciate all you guys that reached out to me, checking on me and uh, making sure that everything was good over here. We are safe. We did board up, you guys see, and we had some damage in our neighborhood as well as around here in the house. But that is the least of my worries. I'm just worried about my family as far as being safe and we made it out good. So I hope everyone else did as well. I know some of the other areas were hit a lot harder than we were, but we got to get back at it. We got to get back down to the shop, make sure everything is good down there and get that place up and running. One nice thing was Crash was very, very appreciative of us and they wanted to make sure we were safe. So before the storm, they said, listen guys, get everything in. Don't worry about finishing up work. We want to make sure that you guys have enough time to get your house secured up. That way everyone is safe for uh, you know the company and uh, I'll tell you what, it was really, really nice to know that that company actually cared about us, texted us through the storm and just wanted to make sure that we were safe. And I'll tell you, it meant a lot to me and I'm sure it did to a lot of the guys that work at Crash Champion. So let's get headed down back to the shop to make sure that everything is safe and I can get back doing what I love to do. So let's head on down. All right, so I'm seeing the lights on around the shop and uh, that's a good sign. But across the street here, it looks like it's pretty dark. So looks like they might not have power. But as I'm pulling in here, I'm seeing that uh, the lights are on around the building there and I don't see anything yet crazy. You guys see that oak tree there has blown over though in the front. We could probably get him propped back up once we get uh, everything situated. But I do see some lights hanging down here. Looks like we lost our lights in uh, one of the detail areas here. Rip them out. Back in business. We got some of them pulled out in my area you guys know in the body shop we always have a couple of dead batteries so that's not going to change this morning even after a hurricane so i'm going to go ahead now and get my stuff out of the booth and get this stuff back to the body man and then we'll go ahead and see what we're going to go ahead and get done today here we got this truck this 2500 we'll probably shoot that one this one here we got to do some primer i'm waiting on some of the parts from the body man to get primed up with it so you guys know this is the m3s and these have that wider quarter on them that likes to get peppered up with the uh rock chip you make it out all right yeah i mean for the most part yeah i know you were over there where it got hit harder we got hit hard but we got to get back in the groove that's why i came in early just for you buddy <laughs> i told them even in a hurricane we get dead batteries in the body shop all the time whenever i get it back from the painter it's always dead <laughs> All right, this is a little pond close by the shop here. We want to see if our friend is still doing good. It's definitely filled up over here. You guys see the floor is saturated. But we got a friend in here that we want to show you guys. Alright, so we're gonna get back to work here. We've got our tailgate ready, prepped out, and then we gotta get the bedsides in there. I've already had the tailgate prepped out from uh, last week or this week, earlier in the week. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this one in here, and uh, hopefully, the booth is gonna be fine. We haven't tried it yet, but I think it's fine, and we'll be testing that out here in a minute. I guess we better check the booth before we get loaded up. We know the lights are on. But sometimes them stacks up top will get some uh, wind damage. It could suck in water, so it's on. All right. 
right, so this is where I started off on Monday with this here vehicle. I had it pulled up. I started cleaning the bedsides. I was just done clearing the jobs that you've seen this morning in the booth. And then my manager came over and he said, we got to have a shop meeting. We got to close up the shop. This thing is coming directly towards us. So that's what we did. We brought all the cars in. So we started off now right back where I was getting this thing hopefully in the booth and getting it finished here in this one. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get it prepped out. I'm not going to go through many of the steps with you guys. You know what we do. I'm just showing you guys what we had to do today in the shop. I don't think you have met Kenny G. This is Kenny G. The guy around the shop helps out with everything. How'd you do with the storm? Lost three cypress trees. Snapped. Really? Yes. So you got a lot of cleaning up? A lot of flood, but nothing in the house. The house is safe. Everybody is safe. It's just waiting for the water to get off. Electricity probably out for a week. Really? Yes. Wow. So weathered the storm fine, just working on time. Check out uh, Kenny G, his phone. These are the pictures of the cypress that uh, snapped by him. I'll tell you what, they are massive. And those cypress can take a lot. So he must have had some serious, serious wind down over there at your place. the first job in the booth the booth is running everything's working out good the only thing that ain't working good is me I'm kind of a little sluggish because I'm running on a little bit of sleep that we had definitely worried about that storm when it was on its way in and it was supposed to hit us direct here in Land Lakes this is where the shop is so we really were worried about it and then it started to wobble go south it went up it went down so it was stressful on us but we got to keep the momentum up we're back at work and you guys know that that's the way that you get to your goals is keeping the momentum up. Don't let it get down because then it's harder to get back in the groove. So even though we could have probably stayed home one more day here, we came back in and we start rolling. That way we can keep the momentum rolling and we can go after our goals and dreams. So let's go ahead and get this thing shot. too bad we got that one finished up came out decent a couple of dirts 
nothing to talk about we'll get them knocked out right away but look at how nice it is outside it's crazy how when that storm passes it usually makes everything nice and beautiful it's a lot cooler out and that's how it is also before the hurricane usually hits but as i'm in there spraying i'm thinking about how lucky we were and i know there's a lot of people out there that had it a lot worse than us that were in the main line of the storm so my heart goes out to you guys i just wanted to document what happened here because we could have had it a lot worse and we got lucky on this one but so we went ahead and we wrapped this one up for primer we've got some stuff on this one to do on the dog legs here and then on the bumper but i was looking over my supplies and uh, we never got our order this week because uh the hurricane so i'm limited to what i can really do right now because here we only get one order a week so we order our stuff and then it comes in the next day and we never receive that order so I'm not sure on how much I'm going to be able to get done, but I'm going to just keep on going, seeing how far I can go, and that way we can have a nice successful day here. We'll go ahead and get this thing scrubbed up before we prime it. That way it's one step closer when we paint it. So that car there, I showed you guys that BMW that we're doing the dog leg on. It's got some armor all on it. so. I like to take stuff out here, especially on these bumpers, and hit them with the uh, Scuff It Clean from Presto with the red scuff pad. And that'll give it a nice cleaning as well as Scuff It, especially in a lot of these crevices where it's hard to get into. You get a little bit more power because this stuff has the grit in it and it allows it to uh, scratch it up nice as well as clean it. So we'll get this thing scuffed up, rinsed back in, and then we'll go ahead and get this area here primed up. That way it's ready to go when we're ready to paint this one. that job in the booth now that way we can get rolling on that as soon as we get back in here and then we primed up all our stuff that way once we come in the next day that primer is ready to go you don't have to worry about waiting on primer to dry we are going to be doing some videos coming up here with a uh, uv primer so stay tuned for that i hope everyone out there comes out of this well and we'll see you guys on the next one